we have a pretty good record from, you know, basically 1843 on in terms of what Mauna Loa has been doing. And I've published uh, papers to point out there's a certain pattern. Uh, the pattern of Mauna Loa activity is the initial eruption, well, there's a sequence of eruptions, and the initial eruption of that sequence will be entirely at the summit. That is, the eruptive vents will be above 12,000 feet. Can get a little bit outside of the Mukua of Aoveo, the caldera, but not very far. That's the initial phase. And there might be, like 1949, it might be a lava flow head on down, you know, into Ka'u direction, but doesn't go that far. But that's basically, that's the premonitory <laughs> eruption. Then what happened, the typical pattern, a summit eruption then followed anywhere from six, six months to what I used to think, say two years, uh, a, a period of relative quiet, but more inflation, and then another summit eruption. But that summit eruption is immediately followed by a flank outbreak. That's the one that goes down the rift zones. Mm. I got, I got um, my, what, the wonderful pattern Pele set up for us showing this, that the delay between the initial summit eruption and the later uh, flank eruptions was from six months to two years, mm -hmm. was what I based my, not a prediction, but a forecast after uh, 1975 eruption that we were going to have a Mauna Loa f summit flank outbreak within two years. And she messed me up, you know, I got too cocky. <laughs> but that interval turned out to be not, almost nine years. Whoa. But it's still the same pattern. It was a summit eruption uh, in 75, and then we waited nine years and then summit flank. And in this case, it ran, of course, down the north east drift towards Hilo. Mm -hmm. And how, how far, when, when that happens, how far away from the summit are the flank eruptions usually? Or is it well, just there's, not a, there's not a usually, they can be anywhere. anywhere. You know, 1935 was fairly high up okay. and 1984 was fairly low down. 1942 was even lower down. And on the, uh, the southwest drift, the amazing thing is 1907, uh, there are uh, 1907 eruptive uh, events that are, you know, very close to, well, they're within the uh, big subdivisions over there. 1868 was also down, you know, right, right ab above the uh, Belt Highway. Mm -hmm. And those, those erupt events are low down. They, they put lava in the ocean within, you know, not too many hours. Yeah, um, the, the threat to Hilo is not, is not so, your, your, your studio is fine, but the threat <laughs> to Hilo is not so, not so great because it's a long, long distance from the potential erupt events way up on the Northeast. So mm -hmm. you're gonna have many weeks, be, you know, months before you, Mm -hmm. A flow could, sm could, could cause problems. Uh, but the Southwest Drift, the subdivisions that are built up there, there's, there's homes built on top of 1887 erupt events. I mean, it's like a Leilani situation. Oh, really? you know, we could have erupt events right down there. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely the most dangerous area in terms mm -hmm. of hazard and risk. I see. Yeah.